Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to the quiet loneliness and the silhouette of a fox, what is hopefully a fox, on the horizon in Eidolon. Eidolon, indeed. Uh, you know what? I stepped through the Fountain of Youth in the last episode, and... I'm feeling pretty hungry now, but I, I don't seem to be tired, and I seem to have walked through the night here. So, I'm not sure how to... Oh, oh, I just needed a few berries, I suppose. I'm not sure how to approach the continuing... I mean, it seems like the sun is rising, if, I, if I've if i noticed anything here. But it is, it is getting a little bit howly out there. That is to say, there are some sort of... Creatures. So maybe I should, maybe I should sleep, sleep away the night, and uh, then our, our sleep pattern will be all screwy. We'll have like jet lag for the next time because I'd like to be able to see where I'm going. So maybe let's do that, shall we? Can we? I can. Okay, I can sleep on a, I can sleep on a dime. I can sleep at a, at a whim. All space, all time. This is very upbeat music. The stars, the terrible perturbations of the sun, swelling, collapsing, ending, serving their longer, shorter use, filled with idlons only. Ah, oh, yes, and of course now I'm feeling pretty hungry, so let's eat the rest of that cooked meat. That was a either a dog or that deer I killed back there, but we were going, we were going north, right? Where's my compass? Uh, that is the opposite of where we're going. We were going north along the 101, trying to get to Port Angeles, Angeles, and uh, trying to see what's up with that, because we found the new map, figured we should try to find a new location. We're, we're kind of running into the same stories, the same, the same sort of uh, locales. And I think it's good for a, a change of pace. Maybe we'll run into the same people and the same stories up in Port Angeles, but, but that's beside the point. We, the only way to, to find out is to go there. Uh, so yeah, so for a refresher, we came up through here, found this map right here, made our way around the mountains, followed this river. Uh, then there was that cabin back there, empty cabin, and now we're on the 101. We'll see a couple of bends, I suppose. Uh, the scale seems much bigger than it actually is, we found. Uh, as you'll notice, this river right here is actually... This river right here... This road right here is actually this road right here. So we are currently... This is the 101. We're going up here. And then it continues on up here. Yeah, alright. So yeah, we started over here or whatever. But regardless, let's continue on. I think we've... I don't know that I needed to do that recap. It seems like the Eidolon audience is 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 dedicated and true, <laughs> and there might not be any necessary need for for recaps or anything. You're all up to speed. It, it's it's longer longer between times I've played it than you've seen episodes, I suppose. But it's so nice to be back in Eidolon after actually being in the Pacific Northwest, in in the very spot that this takes place. Not a, a few, maybe less than a few, less than an hour's drive. Ooh, that's a weird looking car. Uh, it's like got no wheels. Hover car. Well, I suppose this all happened in the future, so maybe these cars are different than cars we're aware of. But yeah, only a few uh, hop, skips, and a jumps from actual Olympia. I said I should try to go down there to see where they're going to install the where they're going to install the beacon. That's going to eventually bring about. The fall of mankind. Uh, the bird is kind of circling over there. Maybe I should take a quick investigation just to make sure I'm not missing anything, because who knows if I'll be back this way. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing a ton. So I'm not. I'm not covering each and every individual square meter of of ground. 
But yes, this was, this was very much the weather <laughs> that that was had in the Seattle area. I don't know, people people joke that it's kind of depressing, and I could see that. It's nice. It's cool. I'm not used to the cool anymore. I have acclimated to the new locale, and it it, it's, it was a little bit cooler. I kind of missed the heat, uh, the dry heat. It really wasn't humid, even though it was raining. I suppose it was 100% humidity, but I really didn't feel that type of summer humidity, uh, although they had cooled down quite a bit. All right, I'm a little bit of a wild goose chase here. A wild bird chase. I'm not seeing much come to fruition here. I might turn back and get back on the 101. Uh, but yeah, the constant drizzle would get to me, maybe. And I know they don't get that much snow, which is a reason to leave Chicago in the Midwest is to get away. Oh, hey, he was right. All right, I guess I'll check this out. So yeah, they don't get much snow, but still the constant drizzle is a bit much for old Kurt J. Mac, maybe. I like the blue skies and the sun. But what do we got here? We have... Oh, this is, this is a... This is a, a meaty journal entry. Look at all those tags. All right. Honestly, the rest of the story isn't all that interesting. This is the voice I've chosen for this person. Essentially, I scoured the settlement for some kind of journal, and all I could find was a half-decomposed scraps of paper. I suppose it makes sense. It would be difficult to make paper out here, at least at a large scale. The paper they did have was likely used mostly for important things, and they probably brought it with them when they left. Knowing this, however, didn't solve my problem, and of course, Eldon couldn't help. Oh wait, who is this? <laughs> who, who is speaking here? Is this the person being chased by the wild ones? Uh, anyway, we only stayed in the settlement for a few days, and I feel like I learned a lot about the people who lived here before. It seemed they, they kept small on purpose. Is the settlement Old Town? We'll find out. Most of the homes were built at the same time, a few were added afterwards. The town couldn't have had more than 1,500 people. It was also a lot simpler than I had expected. Most settlements still used at least some modern technology, and one had very little from... Wait, what? And this one, excuse me, had very little from even before the fall. Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked again. I didn't have the paper to record what I saw there before, and this isn't exactly the place for that. I just wish I could have come here when there were still people. The lives they must have led. Ellipses. Anyway, we stayed. We only stayed for a few days before heading off, hopefully in the direction of Port Anthony's. Hey, that sounds like me. I'm a guy like me. Uh, there was so little to do without riding to distract me. Ooh, the rain stopped. That... that <laughs> without riding to distract me, that I began to notice more and more that Elden hardly even spoke anymore. I guess... Oh, this is written on a leaf. I see in the background. I guess I'd been too wrapped up in, well, in talking to you that I hadn't noticed the extent to which he's drawn within himself. Oh, Lord, I certainly wrote a lot. I tried to talk to him, but it seemed to have perfected the one-word response. <laughs> the one-word response. I didn't help that he was upset and discouraged, that our clothes were stiff with salt. We walked for a day and a half, with hope the sun as only oh with with hope and with hope and the sun as our only guides. I don't think I'm feeling very hungry. I don't think I do well left to my own thoughts, at least when they're bottled up inside my head. I don't know how Eldon does it. My my strange wisp is getting worse and worse as I continue to talk. Luck must have been in our favor because we found Port Anthony's. Ooh, spoiler alert. The ruins of non-beacon cities, oh man, this is a non-beacon city, are even more foreign than those that had beacons. Husks of buildings loom overhead. There are no stories, there are, there are no stories tall, wait, what? There are no stories tall walls <laughs> surrounding them. The skeletal remains of cars widow the streets. But the only human remains have been crushed and pounded flush with the dirt. And occasionally you find your boot making contact with an eye on... on... 
An eye or... Wait, what? An eye on it. On bit. Staring up at you in vain. An eye... On, I don't know what that word is. We beacon cities. The beacon cities, excuse me. Were left well enough alone, but everything else was looted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, I saw it happen during the fall. Senen was sent out of the cities to heal and help where we could. Oh, you're Senen. Aha! It has been revealed. I was sent to one of the largest non-beacon cities, Sacramento. It was, in a road, horrible. In the early days, wave after wave of refugees from San Francisco and San Jose stumbled through the streets, all of their most precious belongings on their backs. When one would fall, a feeble attempt would be made to help them up, but the futile, inevitable progress of the crowd would soon consume them. The sacramental natives locked their doors and shuttered their windows, but the, the there excuse me, was no way to keep the disease out. Holy hell! We set up stations all around the city, but we could never see an end to the lines that formed outside them, and there were so few of us. Ding dong. Many of the people we saw were tuned days later, and nearly all of them ended up in the mass graves that Elden helped dig on the edge of the city. So wait a minute. Oh, hold on, I'll review afterwards. We stayed up for several weeks trying, burying, trying, trying to help as many <laughs> as we could, damn cosif, as we saw more and more cruelty, less and less to try to protect. People stole famously without mercy. I know, Bird, I'm, I'm wrapping up here. It was hard to even judge them for it. I may never face my own mortality. I can't know the fear of pain of knowing you will soon die. I'm sorry. It's getting dark and Elden insisted we use no light tonight. He thinks he saw a bean? A bear, excuse me. <laughs> Oh no, a bean! And it doesn't want it to attract it. I don't think he knows very much about beans, but it will make his way whether I argue or not. Look at that. I didn't even finish my story. I'm sorry. I promise I'll finish it tomorrow. Alright, so wait. <laughs> that was a laborious voice that I chose for this person. Uh, but yeah, okay, this was actually the person who was with Eldin who I thought was talking to me, but probably not. Yeah, this one. And they were being chased by the wild girl, Tyria. Let's just see where the next Tyria is apparently his or her name. Ah, that's going in the wrong direction. This is an interesting storyline, but I really want to be getting to Port Angeles. Well, they were in Port Angeles, so we should still probably hear from them in Port Angeles. Uh, unless, let's just take a quick scope with our binoculars. Ooh, there's a body of water there. Alright, where is that specifically? Uh, yeah, so it's sounding less and less like the Senin revolted against the normal humans. Oh, is that probably that? That's probably that. Well, then it can't be that far. Well, maybe I should investigate. Maybe I should investigate. Unless it's over the water. Uh, let's just go to the water. Alright, so... So yeah, I thought, I, I mean, the story I was gathering was that the Senin, who are these kind of glowing people who are immortal, kind of were the ones that led to the fall, but it's sounding like maybe... the humans caused it? What with the beacons? Which I think... Oh, I'm hungry. Sounds like technology they stole from the, the Senin. Like, maybe the beacons stopped working, and then people had forgotten. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Oh, there's a couple. All right. Well, this is a this is a worthy... Uh, ooh, right through that tree. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. People, like, forgot or didn't have medicine anymore because they were all being juiced up. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, this is a bounty. Oh, my God. What am I looking at? Okay, we're gonna have a lot of reading to do, apparently. This is interesting. Look at them all. Uh, Alright, so that kind of spoils, anyway, Port Angeles did not have a beacon, but apparently after the fall, people, there was a great exodus from the cities 
and the Senan actually tried to help, but there were so many people, and then people stopped helping people, and uh, it was all on them, but then they couldn't stop it. Very interesting. Are the Senan aliens? Are they part of the group of that, that spaceship crash back there? What's his name? Basil? Basil? Twins Basil! I swear I saw another blinky over here. But yeah, we've got uh, a lot of information to collect here, I suppose. Oh, what happened to that one? Didn't I just see one over here? What's that? Oh, that's, those are some sticks. Worry not. All right, I totally just lost one. Are they disappearing on me? Am I seeing hallucinations, visions? Yeah, I see all those out there. Good lord. But there was literally one right here that I've I've misplaced. The trees make it difficult. Um, alright, hold on, I gotta backtrack now. Wow, I'm... Um, did I not see one? Am I... am I losing my marbles? He's losing his marbles, the rain is getting to him, he's getting all soggy... Trench foot and his clothes are all wet. And fingers are all wrinkly. Eidolons, eidolons of poetry. Let's see here. I'm not losing my mind. All right. Well, I swear there was one here, but that. Oh, okay. Maybe I was seeing like through. Oh, when I was up on the hill. All right. So these are actually back here. Got it. I'm missing another one, am I? Yeah, I guess when I was up on the hill, I was able to see over this little rolling hill. Right? Yeah, because I'm not seeing any behind me. So this is like a path. A path of them. We are... Theoretically... Oh, that must be this little jut out. Is what that is. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's see what this one's all about. Oh Lord, Lewis, number one. Seven years since my grandfather died, I went to visit his grave, but each year faded back to the earth a little more. Dame, blah blah blah. Sigil, Sigil. Sorry, I'm kind of I'm gonna paraphrase this because the last one took a lot longer. This is more like a story. Yeah, this is like a, 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 a novel, a, a narrative. Oh, was that it? Oh, we only got one page. Alright, I'm not sure what this is. Did I ever tell you the story how our family came to be at First Landing? Yeah, like First Landing? Like the Senin? They, like the First Landing, like First Contact. Alright, maybe all of these relate. Like maybe this is page two up here or something. Uh, it's getting really dark. Let's just. Uh... Alright, let's go to sleep because I just heard something. <laughs> and they're talking about beans. Beans! The old, old urge based on ancient pinnacles. Pinnacles! Low or IO, like the moon. Newer, higher pinnacles. From science and the modern still impelled. The old, the urge. Eidolons. Bears, beans, beans, bears, beanie bears, beanie bears, beanie babies. A wise investment. Uh, Alright, let's eat some of these blackberries before they go bad. Alright, oh, I'm still hungry, so let's eat a cooked fish. Good thing I'm surrounded by a bunch of water. We can just do some quick fishing before we. Disembark. Alright, what's this one? 
Is this the next page? It is! Oh, but they're all out of order. Uh, Alright, let's try to read, or at least glance at them in order. So that's page 9. I wish there was a way you could organize your notebook. Oh, there's another one. Page eight. All right. Yeah, this is kind of written like a like a book, like a novel, third person perspective with various dialogues. Page seven. All right. So we're going through this backwards. Although page one was back there. Crystals for days! What is that? That looks like a hut. Page six. Yeah, we are going backwards. That is a hut. Oh. Page five. Page five. All right. Oh! This is a different kind of hut. Was this what, uh... Tyrion, Tyrion, what was her name? Trilly, 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 Trilobite, the 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 person with the lisp, who suddenly, despite the fact that that was like the fifteenth page I found of hers, she just suddenly developed a lisp. Ooh, these are up on very well designed, you know, to stay above the water level and whatnot. Oh God, what? Oh, a dog. Oh, something just ran into the water and disappeared forever. They tend to do that. These guys are going to evolve over many millennia into sea lions and other such mammals of the sea, which is mental and madness to even think of. It just screws me up to think about it. Hey, mammals came from sea creatures. They came crawling out of the sea and then slowly, slowly evolved. Page 11, dang it, out of order. You know, no, you're out of order. Like they came up onto the land as like reptiles and amphibians and whatnot, and eventually became mammals. Oh, this is new, but this is Lewis. All right, let's we'll, we'll we'll read these kind of we'll try to organize these in a coherent thing. But anyway, yeah, like uh, you know, obviously life found a way. Life uh, developed underwater in the oceans of pre. Precambrian Earth, or whatever you want to call it. And it crawled up on land and developed lungs to become mammals. And then some of those mammals simply hung around the water shores long enough that they ended up evolving to go back into the water, like whales and sea lions. That's why sea lions and stuff like remind you so much of dogs, because they were once like a, a pre they're, they're related to a prehistoric kind of lineage of wolves and dogs and bears and then like their noses slowly moved to the backs of their heads so they could breathe while swimming through the water and their their feet and limbs turned into fins it's mental and craziness is that not that's absolute insanity Now there's these gigantic sea dogs <laughs> roaming the deep depths of the water. It's craziness. It's totally screwy. And then you got things like penguins, which are the similar things. They're birds. Birds. Birds, which are slowly, maybe in another hundred million years, will be like seabird fish things. <laughs> Craziness. Anyway, that was a that was a tangent and a half, was it not? There are a lot of information crystals around here. None in the houses, though, unfortunately. Oh, hello, trees. Oh, all right. So we got uh, completely out of order. I think I'm missing some pages. Yep, yep. That was a little bit of a detour. I was hoping to make it to Port Angeles today, but... Oh, wait, wait, where'd that one go? Did I lose it behind a tree? Yep, I did. It kind of blended in there.
Oh, this is a completely different... Okay, this is Tyria. Okay, uh... Well, since we were already talking to her... Him, her, them... Well, she's a Senan. That's the other, like... Bombshell that we learned from the last... Thing. Perhaps that was mentioned before. I just didn't catch the reference because I wasn't realizing what Senan was. Maybe we should read her thing since that was the storyline we're already kind of searching for and then we just happened upon these pages of a novel. All right, so... I got... Do I have to do this voice again? How many pages is this? Oh, hell's blazes. Uh, perhaps I should paraphrase. Uh, she keeps writing letters. Made it to the first few islands. Well, at this point, she's already been to Port Andesweys. The water is only trickling in at first. Let's cover some watered wood. Five days traversing these islands. Sambles. Boats need significant maintenance in order to function. Oh, so they were going out to the islands. I suppose, to possibly help people. On the morning of the fifth day, Elden and I were sitting on the walks, staring at the remains of the boat that we needed in order to finish the last wag of our journey. Stranded on an island with no tools or supplies, we really had no other hope. It s would still float, but much was true, that much was true, but the water had started coming in faster than I could remove it, and Elden couldn't help because he had to woe. <laughs> he had to woe. Sat there staring at the boat. Hours later, with the far shore in sight, water swathing against the... Oh, so they're already in the water trying to make it. They're not going to make it. Oh, geez, this is tense. The boat had taken on too much water and there was no way I was able to keep it out. Elden set the cons, the oars, the oars to the side and tried to help me, but it was too late. The boat sank. Uh-oh. I felt especially bad for Elden in that moment because he had already tried rowing as fast as he was able, trying to weed the saw before the boat gave out, but he was faced with swimming the west of the way, but we did it. Well, you guys are invincible, so perhaps that's okay. I've never felt exhaustion like that. It was like every muscle was tired into the ground. And easily every time I tried to move on shift, move or shift, someone yanked on the rope. I can only imagine how Ellen felt. Crawled the saw, waterlogged boggies. Boggies? Bodies? Safe distance before swamping to the rocks and losing consciousness. Ba 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 ba. We woke up. Aching from effort, feeling pretty hungry. We swam about 15. 15 miles? Quasies? Of course, nearly everything in our possession was ruined. All of the maps? No, not as maps. Of my journals and recordings. Oh! Oh, is this what Wasta saw here? Even my clothes were hardly usable. Salt from the ocean had. Oh, okay, this weather is before the previous weather because the clothes were stiff with salt. Alright, got it. It's a good thing Senan are durable. Uh, not sure if blah, 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 blah. Bond, a settlement called First Landing. Okay, this is First Landing. Not n Old Town, this is First Landing. Is this voice getting annoying? Because it's getting annoying to talk. Uh, Alright, I'm switching out of out of character and scene. Uh, wasn't as old as the cities. She's getting a little sidetracked again. I don't know why I've, I've uh, applied a, a female gender to her, but uh, we're going with it. Stumbled upon a little town, call it Small Cabins, that's this. Somewhat tasty, a little bit rotten. A market center. Ooh, where's that? A real rest. After the rest, a meal. Speaking of rest, I hope this letter, you find this letter well. I'm still not unconvinced she's not talking to me. Alright, tell me to go back. Guess so. Alright, uh, alright. That's interesting. I don't think I see any more crystals of information. I don't know. Whoops! Get shot, ground, you blade of grass. There was one letter that didn't match. Yeah, one of these things is not like the other. Uh, I doubt it. Talk about raising kids. First landing. 
put us in some apartments. Eric and Connie. Wait, who is this? Is this... No. No, that was, uh... Who's the other guy I was talking to? Who had the daughter who was ill. Uh... It was... Eh, no. Not Anders. Anders died in Old Town, we think. Uh, who was it? Like, the, she, he, he, he helped with the construction? Steve. It was Steve. Yeah, the guy with the really terrible handwriting. Okay, Steve. So this is... This is Lewis. Lewis and Steve. Um... I'm losing track of all the characters here. Uh, this book, I don't know what we're gonna get out of this book. I'm, I'm kind of just browsing through it. Grandfather died. Oh, that was page one. What's, what's on like page 12 or something? Oh, that was page 11. Um... Yeah, I'm really... There was a page 12, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll die out there. I'm, like, looking for some keywords about the, the, the landing. Oh, this is first landing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was confused. I thought that was, like, some sort of reference to... Space aliens landing and whatnot. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna get from that. Sorry, I'm kind of gonna. We collected them all, but we're going to uh, just glaze over the storyline there, and we're going to. I think it's probably time to head back to the 101, and finally, once and for all, hopefully. <laughs> Unless we get distracted, of course. Uh, make it to... Why is there a car all the way out here? Make it to Port Angeles, which is apparently a non-beacon town. And I'm probably not going to see... They, they kind of sound like we're not going to see those skyscrapers, those ruins, like we do elsewhere. I'm just scanning the horizon for crystals. But I do not see them, so... Yeah, I think that sounds good. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and dealing with my crazy, weird voices. Oh, we should actually, before we leave, maybe... Well, it's gonna be a, a port, I suppose. Uh, but I suppose we could do a, a little bit of fishing at the start of the next episode. This is Eidolon. My name is Kurt. Thanks so much for watching. I'm, I'm stepping in the water accidentally. I will see you next time.